Hi guys, Sanket here. Uh, welcome to our second tutorial on molecular dynamic simulations uh, using Chromax. So in the first video, we have seen um, uh, the first two steps, that is generation of your topology, and second is um, addition of the box and solvation. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be uh, looking at the next steps of MD simulation. So let's start. So the next step is uh, your addition of the ion. So we have a generator of the topology, we have defined the box on solvation, the next is your addition of the ions. So the command for addition of the ions is basically this, okay. You add um, your solvation.grow, which uh, if you remember we had created in the previous step. Uh, then you have uh, give the topol file and then the output is a, a TPR file which is created for ions. But what you see here is an ions.mdp. Now this ions dot for this creation of the ions.mdp, uh, when you go to this MD tutorial, <clears throat> you can see here an MDP file. So for in this case, you have to create an MDP file. Now how that happens is you go to this one, uh, an example of the MDP file and then you click on here. Okay, when you click on here, this is your MDP file. Okay, this is uh, which is created. So what you simply have to do is you have to copy all the files. You keep uh, whatever these values are, the default values are, you keep it the way it is. So you copy uh, this entire thing. All right. And then we create a file um, and paste it. So for pasting, what we do is we create a ions.mdp, nano.ions.mdp. Yeah. So here you can paste it control V. Yeah. Now it's pasted here. Okay. Uh, then we save this. Okay. Uh, yeah. We click on yes. Um, uh, File.mdp, ions.mdp. Yes. Why? Okay. Um, so we are saving it. All right. One minute space y yeah so uh, it's saved okay so now that ions.mdp file um, has been saved uh, yeah you can see ions.mdp okay which is there uh, ignore that hashtag topology.topop every time we are going to create some new things this uh, topol.tops new ones hashtags are going to be created so uh, gmx space gromp okay gro mpp minus f now ions.mdp so now it's going to fetch the ions.mdp file which has been created in our folder okay which is lysosome in water that is the folder minus c uh, our solve.grow file minus p the topol.grow top file so now our topology file will get updated and minus o or dash o okay the reason i'm saying minus is because I, you will go for underscore okay yeah so uh, yeah minus o then tpr file so yes we have created uh, the water file uh, uh, sorry we have created the ions file okay uh, now the next thing is you go gmx gen ion okay now we are going to execute it minus s ions dot tpr minus o one aki underscore s minus p topol dot top and p n so uh, p name now uh, this could be your sodium or chloride because uh, it could be anything you can have a um, sodium ions wanted to add or you can want to add the cl ions so this is positive and negative names and then um, or dash neutral yeah so in this it will ask me which group system protein where i want to add uh, the ions Okay, I will say one, which uh, which is uh, the uh, sorry, I'll say thirteen, which is a sol file where I want to add the ions. Okay, so um, this is what step it is. It is your ion step. Okay, the addition of the ion step is what uh, we have created. What I could do is I can show you in the topology dot top file. If I scroll down. Yeah, can you see eight chlorines have been added? Okay, so there were eight chloride, I mean the eight negative atoms which are less, so eight chlorides have been added. Okay, so this is how you add your, uh, uh, the next step, which is your uh, um, addition of the, um, 
uh, ion step okay okay we have some so we have completed addition of the ions uh, this is how actually it looks the eight chlorine ions which has been added uh, this is again taking you to the software okay um, and uh, uh, so uh, these are the uh, new charges actually basically which has been added you can see there are eight cl uh, um, uh, ions is what we have added this is the uh, the reason for addition of the of these charges is to uh, neutralize it or to equilibrate the entire uh, system what we have okay um, so once that has been done now we move on to the next step that is your energy minimization step so we click on next is energy minimization step so um, before we perform this energy minimization step of ours okay again you can see there is minus f that is minim okay that is minimization dot mdp so that means now there is a need for another one okay your uh, minimize uh, minimization dot mdp so in this thing you can see assemble the binary using this input so we click on this link here yes now it is going to take us to the mdp file so we keep it as the same thing we keep it as integers em step as 1000 your nano step here is your 50,000 okay. so uh, we are going to do the exact same thing we are going to copy this all right and uh, we are going to create now a minim.mdp file we create the same thing um, we create nano underscore uh, em dot mdp okay um we just named it em we can name it anything else not a problem okay uh, we paste it uh, em is because i uh, the reason i kept it em is it's very easy for me to understand there is energy minimization okay um, you can name it anything what you want you can keep it as minim dot mdp also All right now i execute the commands that is gmx gromp minus f um uh, the, not minimum okay sorry it, no, it's em dot mdp space minus or dash c <clears throat> one ak now i'm going to call here is your uh, solve dot ions file okay so um, um I'm going to call here your solve dot ions. Okay, so solve and uh, underscore solves underscore ions dot grow. Okay, so uh, then, so this is the ions file which have been called minus p your topological dot top file. Okay, and um, uh, the output file is what has to be generated. So uh, your output file will be your em dot tpr. All right. So this will execute um, your uh, energy minimization step. So it's your first place. So now we have uh, created the TPR file. Now we actually need to execute those 50,000 minimization steps. Okay. Um, how to go about with that will be, is we'll add the next set of commands. Okay. So uh, it will be gmx space md run space minus v. Minus v will show me uh, what exactly are the steps, how they are performed. And then deff nm em. minus DFF EM sorry so it'll be minus DFM EM and yeah now the steps will start ha has started running yeah can you see okay so this minimization will keep on going on till uh, it has been completely minimized so uh, it might not even take 50,000 steps in order to get completely minimized okay so um, but that is the maximum what has been shown yeah so at 878 steps it has stops that means that uh, it has carried out 878 steps to actually carry out the maximum minimization so if you can see there's minus 5.87 which is the potential energy for it 
Now, how to see it in this graph is um, uh, the, the entire for this uh, simulation, okay, how it has done, how the graph looks like. So we type GMX space energy, okay. So uh, GMX here is nothing but your Gromax, uh, Gromax command, what we are calling, okay. Energy minus F, that is EMEDR file, if you remember, and minus O will be potential.xvg, okay. Uh, so this will create an XVG file now. If you can see there are a number of things, you can create an energy file for um, LJ, for coulombs, for angle, for potential energy, for that is your overall energy, your bonds, your pressure. So it is your choice like what energy you want to do. Uh, we will look for the potential energy, okay, the 10th one. All right. So now how, how to call for the 10th one of the potential energies, we type 10, that is 1, 0, space, 0, and then click on enter, yeah. So potential energy has been created. If you can see the average is minus 5652. That's that's a good enough. That's a very low energy. That's a good enough energy. So I, let me visualize it. XM Grace potential dot XVG. Click on enter. I'll have a uh, oh it's XM XM Grace. I just miss the spelling. It's XM Grace. Okay. And uh, space potential dot XVG. All right. Click on enter. Yeah. Now uh, this is the graph which opens in front of me. So this is the actual graph what we had um, seen. Uh, the energy should go down. If they, if our energy would have gone straight like this, all right, okay, uh, or it would have increased. That means the energy minimization step what we have carried out is completely false. Okay, our energy graph should be coming down. And if it comes down, that means we have uh, done our um, uh, energy minimization step for the protein is perfect. Okay, um, so. So we have been successfully been able to generate an iron file uh, for the salt system and uh, we have been also able to carry out energy minimization. Okay, um, we also saw the graph, it was going down, that means whatever energy minimization we have done for the protein is absolutely perfect. Okay, uh, so the next what we are going to do perform steps is your equilibration step and your final MD run step. Hope you have understood the steps for MD simulation till now. I would also like to uh, shout out to uh, my student uh, Pallavi. Uh, she is the one who has uh, created the video uh, for uh, the MD steps which is there. So thank you very much uh, Pallavi. So let's meet in our next MD video. Bye.